Researchers at the LSU Ag Center's Aquaculture Research Station spent a morning corralling, catching, weighing, and injecting alligator gar with a hormone in hopes of getting them to spawn in captivity. It takes a lot of time to get those guys conditioned right. You have to use big ponds, uh, you have to simulate the outdoor environment, um, and you have to really handle some pretty big fish. Alligator gar are large and ancient fish that reproduce along river floodplains. Their habitat has been dwindling, and while they remain abundant in Louisiana, Green says populations are dangerously low in other states. A lot of channelization of different rivers, not just the Mississippi, a lot of habitat has been lost, and as such, alligator gar are actually endangered. Green is working with researchers from Nickel State University to learn more about alligator gar reproduction and conservation. After the gar were injected with the hormone, the researchers moved them to a tank for spawning. The tank is lined with plastic cheerleader pom-poms to simulate floodplain grasses. Researchers collect the eggs from the tank and hatch them out. And then utilize them for, you know, different experiments, whether it be embryology, whether it be how to rear them because they're very cannibalistic, how to do different strategies to feed them better. Several days later, researchers used the same techniques to encourage freshwater drum to spawn in captivity. This species could be important to the catfish industry. A parasite that lives on a host snail, which is found in catfish ponds, has been causing economic losses for farmers. Some of the early work we did here confirmed that the freshwater drum would be an excellent uh, strategy to get rid of these snails that host the parasites. The problem is you can't get baby freshwater drum. Lutz says drum are ideal because they don't compete with the catfish for food. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Toby Blanchard reporting.